very old fashioned. People used it a century ago and it was very tasty. It still is. It goes really well with a red velvet cake because it is white and it's really tasty. And personally, I love it with cupcakes because it's sweet and light and that's just perfect. You need flour, sugar, milk, vanilla extract, and butter. And remember, if you're a child, don't do anything in the kitchen without adult supervision. Heat the flour, sugar, milk, and vanilla extract together to a simmer over high heat. Now that it's boiling, um, put it on medium heat and stir non-stop until it thickens. We're going to put plastic crap over it and make it also touch the cream so that a skin won't form while it's refrigerating. We need to cool it down to room temperature. If you want it to go quicker, you can put it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Whisk the butter. mixture into um, the butter but first let me tell you a secret come closer the secret is to add the cold mixture only one teaspoon at a time into the butter otherwise you're gonna have uh, lumps the first time I tried making this I just put it all in one time and it was horrible I don't recommend it It took a lot of time, but now it's done. You need to use your ermine frosting right away to decorate your cake and do not put it in the fridge before. It will solidify. Look how white this frosting is. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. If you enjoyed this video, watch this video or that video. They're both awesome.